Tristan here from RevStep. I'm going to talk a little bit about product compliance and some things that Amazon requires when you're first setting up your account and some of the documentations or testing documents that your category may need. So they came out with a new tool. I don't know if you've ever had experience with uploading you know, documentation or you get the pesticide issues on your account or things like that. Uh, Amazon came out with a, a compliance tool that kind of helps you get ahead of those issues before listing your products. Because what will happen often is sellers will list their products unknowingly of, of the test uh, documents that they need in order to continue selling. They could be on their journey to selling, you know, hundreds of thousand of dollars a month. To get ahead of it, uh, Amazon came out with a tool that you, for you to kind of look at and be able to understand which documents and forms that you might need for your product. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today and, and see, see where to find those things. So. Um, you can get there in Seller Central here a number of different ways. Here you can simply put in product compliance tool and find it uh, through here. Or they also have it in their news widget here currently. But if you click here and then click the compliance reference here, um, it's going to take you to sellercentral.amazon.com slash ckp. So this is the platform uh, where you'll see the different categories and the different product types that you are looking to sell in. So I'm gonna just scroll through here just so you can get a visual on all the different kinds of categories and product types that that require um, some kind of uh, documentation. So here we go, let's uh, take toys as an example. Go to toy, toy and then toys. And then at the very bottom here, it's gonna show you um, the product type definition. And then uh, you can click this view help content. And on this next page is where they should list all the different kinds of compliance documents that you may need. So for this product, if you're selling a product that's you know required for 12 years or under, I believe it said, these are some of the requirements it may need. Okay, so ASTM form 963-16, right? So all these forms, CPSIA, which We've dealt with before CPC, all these different requirements and documentations are going to be needed. Uh, maybe some point you're selling your selling journey. Um, again, you can probably sometimes you can get away with, you know, selling your product for a certain amount of time, but you never know when Amazon's going to come back and hit you with, you know, these requirements and take your listing down. So having these uh, testing documents ahead of time is very important to start selling. And then uh, additionally, a last point I'll show you is this here uh, actually gives you a robust list of service providers that uh, are listed in Amazon's system that may have experience with all these different kinds of forms and that can provide you guys those uh, documents. Of course, it, it'll be a paid service to any of these, um, any of these companies. Um, so you can check these out, reach out to them and see, you know, compare pricing between the different testing uh, companies. That's all I wanted to show you today. Thanks for watching.